Hey guys, so this is going to be my second video on the Pyrofuse. The first video explained what happens when you get into an accident, uh, what happens to the Pyrofuse, and so on and so forth. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys in just a few minutes how to test if your Pyrofuse is good or bad, like if it needs to be replaced. So here we have two Pyrofuses. This is found on the Model 3 and Model Y. And this is found on the model S and X. So just to give you guys a thing, there's two terminals on each side. And inside there is a, I believe it's a 2.2 to 2.4 ohm resistor. So this is the model S and X uh, pyrofuse. And this, which is identical, is for the model 3 and model Y. And as you can see, it's the same thing. It's just a, a smaller form factor because it doesn't need that much power going into it. So terminals, and then you have a 2 point, I think this one's 2.1 to 2.2 um, ohms. So how, do you, how are we going to test it? So you're going to need one of these, a voltmeter. And you'll need to set it into what's called continuity mode, which is right here. So you'll see the ohm, you'll see the little uh, sound making thing. And if you put it together, you'll hear a beeping like this, which means you have continuity. All that means is there's electricity going through it. It's making a circle. So how are we going to test it? So we're going to test it in two spots. The first one I always test is the terminal. The second one, uh, one we're going to do is the fuse. The terminal, oh, sorry. So the terminal, you're just going to hear a beep and usually it's zeros. Oh, uh, which is anything under 0.4, it's zero. And you hear the beep. Now the second one way to check it is actually on the <coughs> uh, on the uh, on the um, oh, on the resistor. So on the resistor, it's anywhere between on the model three and the Y, it's between 2.1 to 2.2. And same thing, just gonna put in, touch it on on each ends. And if you look to show with it. You'll see 2.1 to 2.2. You may even see 2.3, um, which is means it's functional. It's 100% good to go. And your problem is not the pyrofuse. I'm going to also show you the same thing on the model S and X. Same thing. So you'll hear a beep. And as you can see, it's under 0.4 meaning it's good, but you always want to double check. So I'm also going to, I'm also going to check the, fu uh, the, um, the fuse as well. And I'll explain why in just a minute. And as you can see, you can get anything between 2.1 to all the way up to 2.4, same thing. Um, the reason we check both points is I actually purchased one that was refurbished. Apparently it did not know that I was buying brand new uh, and for whatever reason, these showed as there was no issue, but the fuse uh, inside was damaged and it kept failing. And I spent almost a day and a half uh, trying to isolate it. So this is just a good way to make sure when you guys purchase, regardless if it's eBay or whoever, uh, it's a way to verify before you go underneath your car and try to get this installed, only to find out you have a defective or a refurbished one that wasn't do that was done incorrectly. Um, hopefully, this video helps a lot of you. And I know a lot of the community members asked me to make this, so um, I'll be posting this as soon as I can. Thank you guys again.